thought I'd share a couple of little activities here that might be useful uh, for teachers. Um, because with what we're going through at the moment, I know there's a lot of um, change and with change, often that creates uh, a little bit of anxiety at times. And you know, sometimes we can get a little bit stressed in our own bodies and minds. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of little techniques here that can help relax the body and mind a little bit. If you find that um, you know, the fan's starting to spin a little bit quickly inside your own mind, these sorts of things are really good to help calm and relax your body and your mind. So the first one is this, this can be done anywhere, anytime. Um, is where we start to tap into our breathing. Now, our breathing uh, is really crucial to any sort of practice in regards to slowing things down and taking yourself out of you know, sometimes our sympathetic response, that flight, fight, low level response sometimes we're in when we're anxious or a little bit stressed. We can shift back into a more parasympathetic response where it's about being more relaxed, uh, perhaps thinking a little bit calmer, a bit clearer, and um, just just slowing it down, okay? So it's really simple. Um, it's just finding a position that you're comfortable in. I like to do it where I'm standing and that helps to decompress the spine. So often, you know, if we're sitting a lot or we're doing a lot of work in front of screens, our bodies do get short and tight. So it's nice to stand and we can do that anytime, anywhere and just lengthen out for our bodies. So you take a few moments to do that. You might incorporate a few shoulder rolls just to let go through the shoulders just gently. So a nice circular pattern of movement through the shoulders as you do this. So just gently sweeping the shoulders forward up to the ears, letting the shoulder blades glide down into the hip pockets. And as you're doing this, it's a nice time to tap into the breath. So you can be Visualizing that breath as you gently breathe in through the nose, coming down into the belly. And as you breathe out, you can set that up so you're relaxing with your shoulders as you let them roll down. Good, and then just letting the shoulders soften. So straight away, relaxing the shoulders helps to decompress the top part of the spine where our neck is. Then we can focus a little bit more around our breathing. So coming back to the breathing again, as I said earlier, what we want to do is shift out of that sympathetic response and become more parasympathetic. So a nice way of doing that is simply through our breath. So when we start to breathe through our nose, we filter the air better. The breath coming in often reaches a little bit deeper, wider and fuller to the base of the lungs. And we use more of our diaphragm. Diaphragm is essential in regards to breathing well because that's our primary muscle that helps with that breathing function. So you might notice where I've placed my hand, just my belly gently moving in and out. All this relaxed through the chest and shoulders. So once you start to access the breath a little bit differently, then you can go to just perhaps inviting the breath in a little bit deeper by visualizing a little bit of counting with your breathing. So what I'm gonna simply do here is breathe in for a count of four. It's a hold for a count of five. and then really relaxing and letting go with that full breath out for a count of five. Now this is where the magic starts to really happen as we're breathing out. And with those little breath holds, those pauses, that's the space. And if we create that little space and we only need about 15 to 20 seconds, what it does is it starts to stimulate our vagus nerve. And in response to that, really good things happen. So we start to shift out of our sympathetic response that we're in, that flight, fight, low level stress response where we might be breathing fast and shallow. Things might be a bit foggy. It can even cause things like, you know, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, um, we can start to get cramps. We can start to get all sorts of symptoms in our own body and our mind, which aren't good. 
But this breathing and taking time and space for self can create a really positive shift back the other way, which is great. We can do that. So after we spend a little bit of time, maybe a few cycles of breathing that way, in for four, hold for five, out for five, then we start to shift back into a more relaxed state and things become easier, things become clearer. 